agenda frauds. They make all these phony statements. They express so many phony concerns. They appeal to solutions and input and impact and help us to fix this problem or that problem or help us to understand why we're failing in this, that, or the other. Why we are stuck at the bottom of this or why we have no unity that or why is it that whatever the problem that they keep addressing the problem that they always in stark dishonesty give this impression that they want a solution they want it to all oh, just come together and make everything all happy and roses and starfires and all that good stuff. But there's just something that's just keeping us apart, something that's preventing us from actually getting around to the point to where we can grab hold of something that's wrong with the way that we're doing things. And if we just address that, and we work with it, and we figure it out, and we reshape it and remold it and set it back on the right track, then we'll be good to go. We will have succeeded. We will have attained the victory. If only we could figure out what it was. See, that's our eternal problem. We want solutions. We ask for solutions, we ask all the right questions, but see, when we get the answers, it's not the answer that we want to hear. And so, since it's the answer that we don't want to hear, then we just continue pulling the wool over our eyes, walking in front of uh, oncoming traffic, slamming into brick walls, getting all butchered and bloodied up, and still whining and crying and complaining about why we don't have any solutions. We can't figure out what the problem is. We know there's a problem. We just can't figure out what it is. We'll know it when we see it, but we haven't seen it. And these people who we raised this question to, who are actually coming to our doorstep, with the brochures in their hands saying, if you want the answers, here they are. Here they are laid out point for point for point for point for point. If you want an answer to your problems, if you want the real solutions that you're begging and pleading for, follow this specific set of instructions. Look at where the problem lies. It all goes back to this one commonality. You acknowledge that and you work from there, all of your answers will be granted, all of your problems will be worked on and eventually solved. But anyone coming with those kinds of answers, with those kinds of facts, with those kinds of evidences, with those kinds of uh, lessons in logic and reason with factual evidence and statistics and what all to actually back them up burn the troll you're just trolling you're just hating on people you're just don't you don't want any solutions you're just coming in here to stir up trouble and we're gonna shut you down and we're gonna shut you up and we're gonna say some slanderous things about you and we're just gonna uh, uh, foaming at the mouth foaming at the mouth foaming at the mouth kill 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 burn the witch burn the witch burn the witch burn the witch It's interesting how that always seems to be a pattern. Whenever there's an issue that needs to be addressed and you're amongst the loudest people crying 
about we need the solution, we need this answer. What's the problem? Why aren't we getting things fixed? And then you get people to actually come out and say, here's the problem. Here's what needs to be worked on. Here's the evidence. Here's the facts. Here's the logic and the reason behind it. Here's the undisputable, I know it's indisputable, but here's the proof. Take it, use it, empower yourself. Make this thing right again. I put a multi-part series on Kid Brother's watching channel explaining why the black community is in the downfall and the tailspin that it's been in since desegregation. And I explained who had the power to fix it and that if that particular segment of our population would exert that power and realize that they are truly strong in a real sense, not in just some fabricated make-believe feel-good-ism sense, but in actual uh, manipulative powerful sense to actually be able and to reshape the system. But see, that gets called black woman bashing. Because I would dare, I would have the utter gall to even remotely suggest that black women have the absolute power to save and reshape the African American community and to reclaim it from its dark precipice. How dare I give black women that uh, label and that, that shield and that badge of honor to let them know that they are the most powerful force in the African American community. But why do they get pissed off at it? Because as was said to Peter Parker with great power comes great that's right they don't want the responsibility they never have they never will all they want to do is bitch holler moan and complain and I explained the reason for that also it's because of this royal diva complex that our women have just been so corrupted by that if they were to ever exert the true power that they have which is God given to them with that power properly executed they would reshape the African American community to where black men would reclaim their proper place as the heads and the leaders of the African American community and they would take charge and they would fix this thing and pull it out of the quagmire that it's been stuck in for the past half a century but as I explained they like it this way because while it's this way they get to elevate themselves as the monarch. See, they don't want any headship over themselves. They want to be the head. And so, in order to maintain that position, they would much rather be the monarch of a shit pile than to be an also player in a magnificent, glorious kingdom. So that's why people like Ambi 101, Colonel of Wisdom. Uh, now, um, I, uh, I'm Alice in Wonderland is uh, beginning to wake up to the reality and seeing just how destructive the black sisterhood truly is. Not only to the African American community as a whole, but just to each other. All the vicious backbiting and catfighting and the, the sabotage of black women that as soon as a black woman calls it out for what it is and says we don't want us to keep going down this path she becomes public 
enemy number one in their eyes. And what makes it worse is when one of them decides that, hey, I can cash in, I can form my alliance with a black man who also understands this problem, who's also been preaching out against this, who's also been trying to empower black women to get their act together to order to realize that the solutions are right here in plain, simple, logical English. Because see, it's bad enough to be a black man telling black women where their errors are. It's bad enough, it's, in fact, it's worse to be a black woman coming up to the sisterhood and explaining what the problems and the errors are. But it's a hell storm when the two can form an alliance together. Hate fest unrelenting. And so I'm just seeing more of the same now in the form of this Ms. Royal uh, Butterball or whatever the heck her name is. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, uh, speaking of uh, slanderous disses and um, uh, re, uh, renaming folks with uh, little dis... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry. My, my brain's kind of like acting on high octane overdrive right now, so my thoughts aren't exactly the clearest as they can be right now. But um, seeing how I'm um, taking swipes now at people's users' names, I thought that this might be a good time to to uh, give everyone an update in the fact that uh, disregard everything I said about I say this with herpes in the last uh, upload that I had posted. But I did leave that caveat where I said, look, okay, she's taking her channel down, she's, which, along with that, which I didn't want her to take her channel down, I could have cared less whether she took her channel down, just take off the stuff pertaining to me, and or to my XO, just leave it at that, do whatever the heck you want to, you want to do, find some other convenient target, one that won't fight back, and I'll keep your name out of my lips. But I said, if she uh, does her next little thing with this so-called Malcolm X channel again showing the lying and the hypocrisy trying to uh, co-opt the name of a man who actually tried to bring positive solutions to the African American community and yet their own agenda is about nothing of the kind it's just lip service but I said well whatever she wants to do with that channel all fine and good just as long as you keep me out of it and I'll have nothing to say to you but lo and behold I catch wind of the fact that well yeah it's still business as usual with her it's still smack the general time so I'm like okay fine I'll keep doing my part to spread those photographs of you then to show the whole world why you're so jealous and envious of Colonel of Wisdom the real reason anyway this sort of ties back in because all this mess pretty much started with I say this with rotten crotch anyway but it segued and spent spun off into this thing with Kara Hunchback and so what we're going to do now is essentially go back to what the beginning of this whole commentary was about and just to play follow-up because remember I told you and no uncertain terms that this wench has absolutely no intent of trying to end all this flaming beef she wants to keep it going or as I explained she wants it to stop but she wants it to stop on her terms she wants it to stop to where she can still take little swipes at me and then still try to come off looking like 
She's the honorable one. I tried. I, I'm trying to fix things. I'm trying to make things right. I'm trying to bring an end to all this stuff. But big bad mean general backlash just won't do it because he's just such a meanie. He 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 still just got all this thing and his anger and all this hatred and and he won't even take an an honest attempt for me to actually say, hey, you know, why don't we let, let, let end it all? And so he's he's just he's just he's he's bad. He's mean. He's burn the witch. Burn the witch. Burn the witch. Burn the witch. See, I said she wanted out of this so that she could come out looking like uh, she's smelling of roses and that I could still look like the big bag mean bully who's stalking her and harassing her and who's picking on her, who just keeps hating on her, who just for just for the sake of just he's he's the devil spawn that he just keeps going coming after her for no reason because she's just so pure and demure and innocent like a like a pure angel out of heaven and of course she's just gonna get attacked viciously and relentlessly just for the fact that she's just such a good wholesome and pure and un, un, un uh huh but remember I called her out as a hypocrite and as a fraud, as a charlatan, and as a liar? Remember how I explained that? See, this wasn't an honest handing out of an olive branch. I would have considered that had that been the case. But as I pointed out, she made this phony attempt at trying to play nice-nice and can't we all just get along or can't we just all go our own separate ways and just acknowledge well we just don't really like each other but just let's just bring an end to the war I'll stop talking about you if you stop talking about me but again I asked the question if she was going to do something that sincere why didn't she do it on her own primary channel you know the one with still 43 subscribers versus the nine subscribers on the channel which is designed for no other reason than to attack and to humiliate and to uh, take swipes it's a diss channel deliberately mocking general backlash if she were truly sincere about wanting to let bygones be bygones she knows that I monitor her primary channel so I can catch her in all her bullshit lies. She could have just as easily offered that extension of the olive branch right there saying look I'm going to play it above board I want this thing to end between us or at least I just want us to just shut up about each other. Will you meet me halfway? I'll take the first step. But she she plays that she makes that plea on an attack this channel and I explained when you do that you're not playing sincere you're trying to make yourself look like you're the innocent one or you're the honorable one or you're the one with more character about yourself but you're going to do it in a way and in a place which still doesn't just say okay let's bow out you want to get a final swipe at me and the only way to do that is to try to say see I'm trying to make nice nice but I'm gonna do it on a channel on a channel that just totally disses him and attacks him and if he doesn't accept it from this channel where I've blocked comments from being posted then shows that he's the hypocrite he's the bad guy he's the one who doesn't really want to end all this mess and you would have thought that after I called that out and again at the end of the thing I also challenged her it's like let's see if you can shut up after this I dare you to shut up after this but you remember what I said I told you I told her she won't do it she can't do it she is incapable of doing it and she just proved my point again less than what was this nine hours ago I don't remember exactly when this thing was posted up but here's the image take a good look now 
already we see this whole line of lies where she first made this statement that if I stopped all of this today these fools will still will still talk about me for months on end and what's that in reference to it's in reference to the fact that I said if she really wanted all this stuff to stop if she really wanted to, to put an end to all the ass whip all she would have to do is just shut up about me about Colonel of Wisdom go her own way somewhere else take all that insulting stuff down that she put put up about me leave my name out of her neck go find another convenient target and we're good to go because when you don't give me anything to punch at in the boxing ring you know how can I claim victory if I don't have an opponent to keep going up against but see you keep coming back round after round after round after round and you try to take these little jabs at me and you keep missing with each and every one of them where they just get deflected off and I pummel your ass and you don't understand why you keep getting hit and why I don't just stop beating the snot out of you well you keep responding to the bell that's why so I told you you can stop this any time you want to I gave you the perfect example as to how and why to do that and I even gave you numerous examples of where that has proven to be the case but nope you make this little slimy remark because again you want to try to look like the sympathetic one you're you're the little abused puppy in the puppy mill yeah everybody needs to show love to you because oh you're just not being taken care of you're being abused and what <laughs> love me love me love me love me the big bad meanie just just won't mm -hmm. so um when you saw that that wasn't working you came out with this bullshit video response again on a diss channel entitled what do you really want and I've explained relentlessly exactly what it was I really want problem is that's not the answer you're looking for you want to get out of this thing looking like the hero slash vil uh, victim and have me come across looking like the big bad mean villain so you don't want to give me the end to this thing the way that it should end you just want it to end the way you want it to end you can't have that as I said you started this I give you the honorable distinction of being the one to end it and you can do that with just a click of a mouse that's all but you don't want to do that because you're a fraud and you love this stuff as I keep explaining and so everything that you've tried all these little tricks that you've tried all this slander that you kept throwing at me I kept throwing it right back at you and then I kept hitting with the same ad hominems you hit me with as a result of it then all you had left were just ad hominem attacks and so you call me things like a child molester or someone who engages in bestiality or what's this latest thing you know pasty pale pervert attacks which mean absolutely nothing to me but I call you out as bald-headed fugly fat and ugly sloppy looking lesbian diesel dyke I'm not taking empty swipes at you I'm hitting you where I know it hurts and where you have a uh, certain um, you're not um, what they say comfortable with yourself or in your and of yourself that you have these self-esteem issues about yourself or that you don't think too highly of yourself even even yourself admitting that the best that you can do even when you doll yourself up is just look okay I hit you where it hurts see what the stuff that you threw at me doesn't hurt me I keep telling you it does not hurt me it doesn't even phase me what it does is it hurts you and yeah it hurts you when you throw it at me because even though it's bouncing off even if it's stuck let's just say even for the 
for an example that say that any of it actually stuck. Even then, it would still hurt you more than it hurts me because it shows you out exactly for what you are. Your nasty, vicious, mean, ruthless, no character having whatsoever, no credibility having whatsoever, who has to resort to juvenile, childish, and sickeningly obnoxious and animalistic attacks like this because you have nothing else to come after me with. But then you see, that's not working either. I warned you about throwing the empty gun at Superman's chest after you already fired all your bullets off. So now you're trying to do the real slippery, sneaky, slimy, snaky way of doing it. I just wanted to end it. You don't want it to well, Actually, let me read it verbatim. You're just stupid beyond repair. Okay, another ad hominem swipe because you've got nothing. Go ahead. Make 50 videos V-I-D-E-O apostrophe S. Go ahead make 50 videos about me if it will help you feel better. I'm pretty sure all four of your audience will really enjoy it. Uh, okay, let me show you the numbers again. This channel. Still nine subscribers. Your primary channel. Still stagnant at 43. At last mention my numbers were 140. Since then I have increased that number by one. It's a slow increase, but it's an increase. So where are all four of my audience? So you can't even accept defeat in the fact that you've lost so much credibility that nobody's paying you any attention anymore and yet as this whole thing keeps dragging out it just brings more attention to me and people see who's on the side of right and who's got truth and facts and evidence and rationale and logic and reason behind them and they're voting with their subscription buttons okay So continuing your latest little uh, plea for trying to come out of this thing unscathed. You're only making yourself seem childish and petty. Okay. So if I'm making myself seem childish and petty, and yet everything is in retaliation to everything that you keep dishing out, and you keep getting smacked down with it and smacked hard with it, what does that make you look like? It makes you look like a retarded moron. So, okay, I'll take childish and petty over looking like a complete blithering idiot and a moron any day. You're going on 50... Oh, I guess that's supposed to be a swipe at how old you think I am which you're still shooting in the dark. You have no idea how old I am. But, okay, if you want to um, think that you've got some inside information on me, okay, fine, we'll just play it this way. You're going on 50, and you're still acting like you're in middle school. Okay, I'll accept that. I'm still acting like I'm in middle school. But in stark comparison, you're still acting like you're in kindergarten. Throwing little whiny tantrums and rolling out all over the floor and screaming and hollering and kicking and screaming because you don't get things your way. Wah, 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 I want a cookie. Wah, 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 I want to play with the crayons. Wah, 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 I gotta go pee in my pants. Wah, 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 wah. Go ahead. You keep throwing your temper tantrums. Because, see, the, at least the thing you can say about someone 
who's going through middle school is that they have a hell of a lot more maturity and they have a heck of a lot more reason and they have a heck of a lot more of an ability to understand how the world operates than a little four or five year old kicking and screaming and throwing a tantrum in kindergarten. I see you got me so screwed up I'm mispronouncing my words now. So go ahead. Say I'm acting like I'm in middle school. But when everybody sees the stark comparison, you're just barely out of head start. See, as I said, you just keep walking right into it and you don't even know that you keep bloodying your own nose. Thinking you're taking a swipe at somebody else, it all comes bouncing back at you and smacking you dead in the face and knocking you flat on your ass. How you like me now? Here's where the big lie comes in. Quote, I offered the invitation to make peace, but I see you rather fight and wag war against me. Unquote. I wag war. Okay. You, on the other hand, wag the dog. Because you didn't try to make peace. You didn't offer any invitation to make peace or extend an olive branch. Otherwise, why did you do it on this channel? It all comes back to this. If you were truly that sincere, you could have uploaded your little video, you're doing your little, I'm extending a little olive branch to you because I'm really tired. I want this all to end. But you didn't put it up on Kara Hunchback. You put it on, uh, I'm not even going to say the name of this thing anymore because it's irrelevant. You only had nine subscribers on this thing anyway, so it's not like it's uh, anybody's really paying it any attention except those little the stalkers and the little creeps that come in and actually try to, you know, see what the latest Smackdown is, what's the latest this, what's the latest thing that, that Kara Cunt is going to... Uh, you know, slap General Backlash and or Colonel of Wisdom with. <laughs> let's let's go in. Let's. Uh, oh, still nothing new. Oh, okay. Well, we'll come back in, in an hour. Oh, still nothing new. Oh, we'll come back in two hours. Oh, still nothing new. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I gotta go to sleep. Uh, but uh, the first thing next morning, I'm gonna go back and see. Uh, oh, still nothing new. Oh, uh, well, well, I'll keep checking back until I find out what the latest swipe swipe is. What the latest swipe is. And yet you're not doing anything, and you haven't done anything to me for the past, what? But don't worry. We'll be getting around to that also. So, um, okay. So you make phony peace on an assault mocking disc channel so that you can try to make it seem like you're the honorable one, you're the person with more character and more dignity about yourself. But nobody misses the point that you're doing it by taking an actual, you're literally, lit, you're literally spitting in my face while everyone else is supposedly blind. You're hoping nobody's paying attention or that they're too far detached away from the thing to realize what you're doing is that while you're shouting up the, at the highest point of your lungs General Backlash! Let us bring an end to this all! Let's all come together and let's, let's just go our own separate ways and peace and uh, you know uh... But while you're doing that making it seem like you're putting on this really good show you just keep hawking loogies in my face you don't want to end this thing on a peaceful note. You want to end this with a final slap against me. And I told you, and I will keep telling you, that ain't gonna happen. Not now, not ever. And so, you finally um, decided to close this thing off. Well, of course, by calling myself a loser. So again, another ad hominem swipe, swipe with nothing to back it up. And of course, you go on to call me a nasty pale pervert, which is another ad hominem diss, which again, doesn't bother me. 
because I know it's out of desperation because you've got nothing left. But like I said, you keep doing it. Keep on coming out with them. Keep laying them all out for me. Show everybody what a fraud that you are. Show everybody what a desperate, nasty, rotten, acid-filled crotch that you really are. Show them how poisonous you really are. Show them that you have no credibility or no character or no decency about yourself. Keep it up. Because the more you do, the more you keep chopping yourselves. Let's see, where are you, Al? I would say you cut yourself off at the knees, but by this time, you pretty much reached your crotch already. But you just keep chopping and chopping and chopping and chopping because you just can't help yourself. You think that it's going to bring you all this sympathy, the fact that, oh, look at this poor uh, mutilated person there. Oh, don't you feel sorry for them? And people are like, uh, why should I feel sorry for somebody who just keeps lopping their own limbs off? That's a sign of a sick mind. That's not anybody who needs to be sympathized. You know, leave that psycho to uh, its own uh, meet its own demise, essentially. That's why nobody's coming up in defense of you anymore, except your little daisy chain. That's all you've got left. But I want to end off with where you ended off with. Uh, you, you actually ended off with the nasty, pale, pervert, enjoy yourself loser part. But just before you got to that part, I want to let the whole world see, uh, once again, I called you correct. Because here's exactly what you said. Quote, suck my dick. Unquote. Now, did I call it right or did I call it right? I told you. I know you. I know people like you. I've studied you. I knew that this would bring you out either on the defensive or you would try to do um, damage control or you'd do anything you could to try to distance yourself away from it. Now see, if you had been smart from the very beginning, you would have done the latter. And you would have taken all of my swipes at you for your <clears throat> sexual uh, dalliances and your butch dyke tendencies, and you would have just distanced yourself far away from him and just say, well, if that's what he says, you know, I ain't gonna even address it, you know, just, just go ahead and let him run his mouth and make himself look like a fool. See, but you didn't do that, did you? Nope, you had to come in and try to keep defending and try to kept tri trying to uh, make all these, well, even if I was, you know, I was, I was, well, you know, everything that you kept doing except denying the truth. And that's, the, uh, and that's really the amazing, the most amazing thing about this whole conflict is that the only thing, the only area where you refused to deny the truth and where you tried to reshape it and to twist it into a lie has been in regard to your own sexuality. Gee, isn't that interesting? That one thing where you do not twist and distort the truth is when you got called out on your sexuality. Everything else was fair game except that. Oh, sure, you're trying to duck and dodge and, and, and skirt around it, but you're not denying it, and you're not trying to reshape it and remold it and twist it back around, and you're not trying to refabricate it and, and rearrange it and this, that, or the other. You've left that alone, I've noticed. And now I understand the reason why, because here you said it yourself. Suck my dick. What? kind of a girl what kind of a female uses the term suck my dick especially 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 if she's putting on this pretense of being heterosexual once again all I had to do was just throw you out in the middle of the abandoned dog park and just let you walk around 
eventually you'll keep stepping in shit. And I ain't going to warn you when you do it. So you just keep tacking more and more and more and more. You just keep telling on yourself. You keep taking my bait and in response to that you, you come out with guns full blazing or uh, either on your little emotional trip or whether you're doing it all sneaky and slimy like a forked tongue snake. But either way, you still take the bait and you still think that you're going to come at me with something and all you keep doing is burying yourself deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And so now, you did it beautifully twice in the same comment. One, by putting a, a, this blatant lie that you're trying to make peace on a dis slash attack channel and you wrap it all up by essentially acknowledging your bull dykeness. Way to go! Bravo! <laughs> See? I don't have to do anything except let you run your own mouth. You're not getting out of this unscarred. I promise you this. But I don't need to promise you this because it's already a done deal. That whole thing about stick a fork in you and, and you're done. Uh-uh. You've already been on the charcoals for way too long. You're burnt to a crisp. But you're still going to come after me, though, aren't you? You're still going to try to twist and distort this around, aren't you? You're still going to try to find some way of making it seem like you're going to get a you're still going to get the last hit at me. You're still you're still going to have the get the final cut. Oh yeah, you'll get final cut all right. But see, you're cutting yourself. You're hemorrhaging right now. This is why you're at this state of desperation because you know that you're done. And I just keep getting better and better and better. My numbers are increasing. What that means to me, as I said, is really irrelevant because numbers don't matter to me. But see, they matter. my numbers matter to you. Which is why you have to keep denying the fact that my subscription numbers keep increasing while yours remain stagnant. Even throughout all of this, your numbers are going nowhere. Mine keep going up. That pisses you off. And oh, let's not even bring Colonel Wisdom in on this. Her numbers just keep skyrocketing. And I know that pisses you off more than anything. Because you can't get any validation or whatever. So you got to hate on somebody who not only gets validation, even though that's not what she's looking for, but she gets it. She gets it from black men and black women, or at least the honorable black women anyway, who understand where she's coming from and what she's trying to do and what she's hoping to accomplish or what lessons she's trying to impart. But, you know, I've said it all before, and but it doesn't matter because, truth be told, it doesn't matter where I end it. Everyone knows by now that you're not going to let it end. So the moment that I click off of this, you're going to come running right to it, and you're going to listen like with, with pinpoint accuracy to every little minute detail that I say, and then you're going to try to come right back, and you're going to try to spin it around, or you're just going to get frustrated, and you're just going to swipe some all nasty ad hominems, calling me child molesters, and to say that I beat up my mom, and whatever you know same crap that Alec Nile did you know calling me things like a predator and that uh, my mother raised a predator and and that she's uh you know you know yeah you, you know go ahead you know you that's that's the only thing you've got left now you know uh 
you know, I at least give you more credit than that. Because, see, it didn't take other people very long to take swipes at my mother to throw her into the mix. But I'm sure um, it's not going to be much longer before you start descending down that, that territory yourself. So uh, I'm anticipating it. Unless, as I said, you want to prove that you're the better person. So again, I challenge you. I dare you. Don't respond to this. Not in text comments, not in video uploads, not in some secret du uh, duck and dodge and swipe or calling me out on somebody else's channel like you just did with Colonel of Wisdom on uh, Ms. Uh, what's her face's Jumbo Jack um, Royal Royal Beef or whatever the na her, her name is, just like you did over there. <laughs> don't don't get involved with that Colonel of Wisdom person. They're they're just a troll and they're and they're just gonna try to. Was that was that on Royal whoever's channel? You did that on somebody's channel. I have to go back and check my records to find out exactly with who you did that with. But see, as I explained as, and as I exposed, that's how you operate. You keep beef alive and you start new beef by going around, bouncing around from channel to channel to channel to channel, expecting that nobody's going to catch wind of it. And then um, you wonder why people come at you directly and just start burning your ass. So, again... I put the challenge out there before you. You wanted to extend an olive branch? I'll extend a dare to you. So yeah, I know. It's not over. You're not going to let it be over. I know. So, I await your next response slash dis slash swipe slash whatever the heck it is. I look forward to it. And you know why I look forward to it? Because every time you keep coming back at me, you just keep burying yourself and cutting yourself deeper and harder and shorter. Again. The more you do, the more you only hurt yourself. I'm immune. Because you don't have kryptonite. You've got everything but and only kryptonite can hurt Superman and that's in this instance truth facts and evidence and you have neither of those whereas I on the other hand so have fun mulling over how you're going to respond next to this one I await to see what you come up with and I'll be waiting with the bullwhip in my hand ready to tear into that naked fat sloppy butterball ass of yours again